Hi friends and good morning. Today is August 2nd and um, yeah, I just thought I'd kind of give you a really quick update with what is going on. So we are in the middle of putting up the fence in our yard to um, keep the dogs in an enclosed area that we don't always have to supervise them. So I'll show you that in a second. And um, also I'm getting ready to do a big gardening day tomorrow. I really want to get Whatever it is that I'm going to be planting for August, I just want to go ahead and get that um, all sowed and um, just kind of be done with it. <laughs> um, and then also I'll show you, we have some pecans that are growing on our trees and they'll probably be ready for harvest, I think um, within the next couple months. And then also we have a lot of apricots on our apricot tree. So I'll go ahead and kind of show you guys what we have going on right now. Okay, so here is the fencing. It is in progress. Um, Lucien has been doing a lot of work on that, so I'm very proud of him. We decided to go with these panels. Um, that way, our little dachshund cannot escape through the grid and uh, no other animals should be able to pop in. And then um, once all this is up, we will be staining it. We're in the middle of trying to figure out what stain we want to use. Um, we've also been trying to repair some boards here on the fencing. As you can see, that was like the red color um, that it was before, and it had like a lot of spacing. So instead of just buying all new planks, we're just kind of um, going in and repairing it as we go along, just to save on costs. Fencing is really expensive right now. So we're just trying to fix it as we go. And here is one of our pecan trees. So we have um, still older pecans that are on there from last season that just haven't fallen off of the branches. But then we also have new pecans as well. So let me see if I could find some to show you with a close-up. So right here is a really good example of showing you the pecans from last season that are still on the tree. And then here is one new one that's coming through. But there are like hundreds of pecans, new pecans coming up on this tree. It's so amazing to see. I can't wait to start harvesting those and making a bunch of recipes. Also really quick before we move on um, further in the yard, I wanna show you my uh, stevia plant. It has not made any progress in, gosh, it's been like a week and a half. So that's a bummer, but um, there's like seven seeds in there, so hopefully something sprouts really soon. I need to look up and see how long it takes for it to sprout, but I'm just waiting. And oh, another thing too, it requires, I think 15 hours of sunlight a day. So I have not had it in my kitchen at all. I've just basically had it outside. I was planning to just keep it indoors, but I think that's gonna have to happen once the plant is already more established. And hopefully it sprouts. Here's a quick update on the grow bags. So, um, the Boston cucumber has not sprouted at all. So I don't know what's going on with that. Um, neither has the okra. So actually, no, there it goes, finally. Wow, it's been taking forever. And if you can see that little right there, it is sprouting, so thank goodness. Okay, and then the rest of them are doing really well. So there is the um, Black Beauty zucchini, and then we have the sugar snap peas and then the Kentucky pole beans. I'll have to separate those really soon. The lima beans are doing really great. And then here is uh, the hybrid cucumber that I planted, the crookneck squash, which is like a yellow squash, the gray zucchini, and another one of the um, black beauty zucchinis, which is basically just like your green regular zucchini. Um, I did have to get this um, all-purpose netting to cover uh, these bags because right away once most of them started sprouting there were birds that were coming in and um, starting to pick out some of the sprouts and then also not the prettiest thing but I did have to elevate these because I noticed one day that there was a lot of bugs growing underneath the grow bags uh, due to the moisture and yeah I just I don't know I just figured I, I would elevate them for now and then just go from there Okay, and here are our apricots. We actually have a lot in the tree. Um, the tree is full of them. 
so we're waiting probably like another month i assume i would think by the end of this month that they're going to be ready to harvest but we'll see what's going on they're pretty oh there's an ant they're pretty firm to the touch um and they're mostly still green but some of them are starting to get a little bit of color on them so that's really cool And then here is um, the garden plot that we started working on a few weeks ago. We haven't finished it, but um, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and garden on this area and um, at least just kind of get something going because again, we have so many different projects going on that it's really hard to focus and spend a lot of time on just one. So I'm gonna just make the best of it and figure out um, today what I'll be planting there tomorrow. <laughs> There's one of my little babies. She's already practicing how to stay inside the fence, <laughs> even though it's not fully closed in. And that's about it for right now. So um, yeah, I will definitely keep you guys posted and I look forward to today just kind of planning out what I'll be um, gardening tomorrow. And um, I know I'm gonna get pumpkins in. Um, I don't think it's too late to plant them because we do have a really long summer here. Um, but I, I need to get them in so I'm gonna do that tomorrow and that's about it also I'm going to start renovating our kitchen so I'll probably do a video on that as well the kitchen is like a bright red orange and it's not pretty at all and yeah I really need to do something with that so I look forward to having just a fresh new bright kitchen that's about it though guys thank you so much for um, catching up with me today and I will catch you on the next video bye